Hello. Within this video, we'll look at the basic procedure for creating a simple truss layout in Vertex BD. First, visit the Trusses menu within the Modeling tab and select Common Trusses. The Trusses parameter box will appear. We can set the thickness of the truss envelopes, the label prefix, and the spacing within the trusses, as well as other values such as 2D and 3D presentations. Once the parameters are set, click the OK button to confirm. The first step is to select the upward slopes. Here we select all the slopes at the top corner of the truss supports. Once selected, press Enter to confirm. The second step is to select the bottom of the slopes. If I have any seam plates or roofs under the above slope, I can select these. However, if like in this example I don't and only have walls and rules, I can utilize the define limiting plane function from the right text contextual toolbar to add in an invisible plane. This function allows me to specify the height of the plane. I can type a height value if I already know it, or I can use the from wall button selecting if I would like to select from the 2D or 3D window. I can then select the exterior wall the trusses will rest on and BD then picks up the top plate height. Click OK and then we are ready to define the shape of the limiting plane. As this roof is rectangular we can just pick two opposite diagonal corners and click confirm. A blue rectangle will appear that shows the shape of my plane. I can then hit confirm to move on to selecting the truss line points. In the contextual toolbar I have two toggle options which control if the very end trusses are moved in flush at the end of the truss line. I also have options for defining the origin point of the trusses whether this be from left, from right, from both ends and so forth. With more options defined I can now select the truss line. I will go from the center point of the exterior side of the frame right across the ridge line to the other. Once selected, you are automatically brought to the last step, which is selecting the bearing component. Here you can select the walls and beams the trusses sit on, or you can just confirm the truss envelopes. This is the basic method for adding truss envelopes. However, there are more advanced functions for adjusting the truss layout for different room types such as this one. Go back to the truss menu and in the hip truss section, you can choose from five different hip sets. For this example, I will use the terminal hip end option. Then I select the truss area and finally the hip eave. The hip end properties window displays and here I can define the parameters for the gird applies and the jack truss spacing. After choosing these, I select OK and the layout is automatically changed. With the truss envelope layout done, I can now add the actual truss profiles. It is advisable to do this in the framing model, so press F4 and choose the reframing model pair. The truss layout is still visible. To add the profiles, select the trusses. It's advisable to select different types separately. Then right click and choose Generate Parts. Within this window, there are various truss types available in different libraries depending on your customization. Firstly, we will deal with the main roof trusses, so double click the full truss. Here you can define the profiles used for each component of the truss as well as defining end web length. The two rules allow you to set up various parameters to control how pieces are added into the truss structure as well as obtaining connections, while spacing allows you to define the node points and word spacing settings. Both minimum and maximum allowed values for both top and bottom cord. Once selected, click OK. The software will then display a progress window as it generates the trusses. Once done, we can then do the same for the half trusses, selecting the appropriate option in the truss structures, and once again setting up our parameters. Once this is complete, we can see the trusses in 3D by selecting the F2 key. This concludes this video on trusses. Join us for our next one on panel drawings. Thanks for watching.